Washington, conservation groups have reacted furiously to a planned move by the Trump administration to allow hunters who kill elephants in two African countries to bring home the animal's tusks or other body parts as trophies. The move triggered protests from conservation groups and a frenzy on social media from opponents who posted pictures on Twitter of US President Donald Trump's adult sons, who are avid hunters, posing with the cut-off tail of a slain elephant and other dead wild animals. The Trump administration is lifting a federal ban on importing body parts from African elephants shot for sport in Zimbabwe and Zambia. A woman has been dubbed the Hamburglar on social media after robbing a McDonald's restaurant in Columbus, Maryland. An alliance of countries and two U.S. states says they'll support each other to eliminate coal usage within 13 years, while the U.S. federal government pushes a so-called clean coal agenda instead. Grace Mugabe, Zimbabwe's first lady, is in the middle of the fight for the country's presidency. Her rising power may have prompted the military to take over. The mass killer, who in 1969 sent followers known as the Manson family out to commit several murders, has been taken to hospital. A global art installation called Portals brings total strangers face to face for live, and often intimate, conversations. The World Anti-Doping Agency rules that Russia remains a non-completer with its code, dealing a major blow to its hopes of being cleared to compete at February's Winter Olympics. The Trump administration is lifting a federal ban on importing body parts from African elephants shot for sport in Zimbabwe and Zambia. At a meeting in Tanzania organized by a pro-trophy hunting lobbying group, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service disclosed that it would allow the import of trophies from Zimbabwe and Zambia through 2018. The agency said the countries had developed robust conservation programs that would enhance the survival of African elephants, the world's largest land animals. However, the White House on Thursday said it had not yet finalized the decision. There has been an announcement that's been finalized on this front, White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders told reporters when asked about the reported policy shift. Until that's done, I will consider anything final. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. The move would reverse a policy implemented by Trump's predecessor, Barack Obama. Infuriating, Chelsea Clinton, daughter of former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, wrote on Twitter. Will increase poaching, make communities more vulnerable and hurt conservation efforts. Infuriating will increase poaching make communities more vulnerable and hurt conservation efforts. httpst.co slash w3bt8tzzgw. Advocates for big game hunting contend that it can help preserve wildlife by generating income for poor countries that can promote conservation and improve the lives of impoverished people. Legal, well-regulated sport hunting is part of a sound.